I remember from the daycare center I worked at, I had to do a circle time. And for circle time, I made up this story about a little kid who wouldn't go to bed called Mortimer. And it's pretty much the way the book came out 10 years later. Mortimer's mother took him upstairs. Whap, 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 whap. She opened the door. She threw him in bed and said, Mortimer, be quiet. The kids were my filter. I tried out lots of stories, and the ones they liked were the good ones. I felt like a professional writer after I did Mud Puddle. I was a full-time writer then. I wasn't a professor dabbling in writing. My children are all adopted. We have Julie and Andrew and Taya. They have all been in books. I would try my stories out on them. When they were little, we used to read them children's books. I would go to the library every Wednesday with a laundry basket and I would take home a laundry basket full of books. When fans pick up my book, they expect something that's funny. There's the subtext of it's a world where women are equal, where good families have arguments too, and it's okay. It's important to have stories that kids like, and whatever kids like, let them read. I think ebooks are a spectacular idea. I mean, you've taken the book and liberated it from the paper, and they're quickly available. Ebooks for kids are a wonderful, wonderful idea.